It's time for TV's all-time favorites on Family Feud. Five days of feuds among the original cast of Gilligan's Island, Batman, Hawaiian Eye, and Lost in Space. Introducing for today's feud, the Lost in Space family, June Lockhart, Guy Williams, Angela Cartwright, Bob May, Mother Kristen, reunited again, ready for action. Competing against the Hawaiian Eye family. Honey Stevens, Troy Donahue, Anthony Isley, Huncy Pons, and Grant Williams, as they are today. On your marks, let's play the family feud. Welcome back. Good to have you here. All righty, we're doing well. How much money we got going here? Find out and see what's happened. Lost in space, playing for uh, International Hearing Dogs Inc. One so far. $5,134. Ah. Why not? I play the project Windfeather. It won $5,000. Congratulations. Ah. Today, we're going to find out who's going to play in fun and make them feel at home. Lost in space. Yeah! Oh, very well. Thank you so much. Hearing dogs in, which helps deaf yes. people. Yes, we train dogs. A lady named Agnes McGrath trains the dogs who are on death row at the shelter right. to be ears for the deaf. And if it's a uh, deaf mother, call? or yes, the dog will alert the owner when the phone is ringing, right. or the somebody at the door, or if it's a deaf mother, she, the dog will let her know when the baby's crying or needs attention. I think it's a great idea. And it really works. And it's exciting because we've got already over $5,000. Yes, dollars. that's $2. Let's meet everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> my left, my dear husband in the series Lost in Space, Mr. Numero Uno, Guy Williams. Welcome, <laughs> Dr. <Hi>. Joy. <laughs> and our daughter, um, what was your name? <laughs> Penny? <laughs> Penny Robinson from Lost in Space. Angela Cartwright. <laughs> Welcome, Angela. And for all of you who have ever wanted to know who or what was in the robot? There is Bobby May. Hey, Bobby. Welcome. I've got his uh, picture in the robot suit hanging on my dressing room wall. Oh, yeah, you really? I just put it up. How nice. Thank you look very nice. Very Thank nice. you very much. We're starting to rust. And then my, that's <laughs> kind of my darling Marta. Uh, Marta played Judy Robinson, and that's Marta Kristen. <laughs> Thank you for being here. You know, we wish you luck. Thank you so much. All right. Well. I think I like the sweater better than suits. I got another one too, in case. <laughs> in case I need case, it. In case you go for Friday. Yeah. All right. Very good. Welcome. Thank you for being with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Okay. See, when I say get something blue. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Fine. Thank you for having us. Uh, I've only got his word that he was the robot, but he gave me his picture. <laughs> I put it on the wall. You look very nice. Thank you. I've got it right next to my Space Invader. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my angel. Can I say hello to my parents? Oh, your they parents. just okay. had their 60th wedding anniversary. What are they oh. Harold and Bertha Soderquist. Harold and Bertha! Happy anniversary! Of course you They're joining the Peace Corps. We join the Peace Corps. Thank you. Yeah. Grab a lollipop. See if we can get a $100 one. Don't start looking. Just grab one now. Honesty's oh. the best policy. Well. <laughs> Here they are. Here to challenge you. Why am I? We're ready this time. Project Windfeather. Uh, you drill wells? Yes. For? For the American uh, in Indian American families Indian. on our reservations who have little or no drinking water at well, all. That's marvelous. The basic dignity of any human being living in America I know. In it is a disgrace today. they don't. But yes. 
How much would it cost to? Well, we it costs fifteen thousand dollars a well to go a thousand feet into the ground, and that money will serve families for a radius of three hundred miles. All right, now listen. You win today. You've got yeah. ten. Win Friday. Right. You've got twenty. We can dig one and one third. I know it. Wouldn't oh, that be great? It'd be marvelous. Yeah. Let's meet everybody. All yeah. right. You know my co-star for so many films in the '60s. My goodness, Paris, Susan Slade, and what have you, Troy Donahue. Well, okay. <laughs> he's a good player too. He really is. Strong player. And the old man of the group. He was the he was the one with the mustache in Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. Tracy Steele. He played Mr. Anthony Isley. My <laughs> Anthony, that's the guy. <laughs> the only Hawaiian in the group, for sure. There he is, my very good friend, Ponce Ponce, who played Kim the Cabbie. Yeah. Aloha! Aloha! And? Brad Williams, my other co-star in a few films, and he played Greg McKenzie in Hawaiian Eye. We're delighted to hear you. Thank you again. Thank you. You're a great if we don't win, perhaps those Indians will strike oil. <laughs> Wouldn't that be neat as well? Sure. I got a feeling you'll do well. Thank you again for being with us. It is always a pleasure. Both oh, times. Both times. <laughs> Very words my ex-wife said. Richard, <laughs> Richard what? I, I, I'm the king at my home now since I brought that kisses home. Well, I'm we... glad to, uh, if you abdicate, let me know, please. Hello, Richard. Uh, can we get a hundred? Absolutely. Come on, let's do one. Get two of them. Let's one get for this me. one. No. No? Oh. no, but you won money the last time. You could do it this time. Right. Wish you luck. Come, we'll play the feud. Let's go. Uh, wish each other luck, ladies. Hello. Oh, yes, good luck and all that sort of stuff. Uh, 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. you got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something that helps you make it through a lonely night. A book. Okay. When you buzz in up here, you gotta answer right away. A book. Oh, you got it. My love, you're gonna play a card. Hey, play, play, play. They are going to play, Connie. They're going to play. Can I give my answer? No, because that's number one. You see. Shit. <laughs> you know it was good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> he takes up two spaces here. Look. He's a very... He is, oh, rather. Nice. Yeah. Yes, Something that man. helps you make it through a lonely night, guy. Oh, good record collection. Okay. Nice. Good record good. collection. Oh. 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 Well? Hmm, I got two. I think a pet. Pet? That's good. Like a snake like or a hippo. That's good. Hippo. That's good. A pet. What about a pet with a record collection? <laughs> oh, that could have been there, yeah. Well, a late movie. Yes. Yeah. All right. If it's there, okay. If not, third strike. A late movie. Yeah. That's not a robot. Hot chocolate. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a hot chocolate. No. $73. Connie, get these handsome men down here and give me an answer, please. A lover. Pardon? <laughs> Sorry. A lover. Oh, a lover. Okay. Certainly, I wouldn't be lonely if I had a lover. Oh. I've been so depressed, I'm up to my hips in hot chocolate. <laughs> With a snake who has a record collection. And they're all Glenn Campbell's. Oh, God. <laughs> It's there, darling. You get the seventy-three dollars. If not, you get the money. A lover. Oh. Oh. Got it. Yeah. I don't think you'd be lonely if you had a lover. You know? yeah. We'll see what. We'll see what's there. Three. It's the rain. Four. Three. Uh, oh. No truth. People do that, unfortunately, occasionally. And five. Help me make it through the record collection. We'll be back right after this. Uh, June and those lost in space people, you've got seventy-three dollars. Come on, Hawaii, nothing. Come on. Come on. Wish you both luck. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. 
Name an evil you've never tried but have considered trying. Yes, sir. Alcohol. Buzz! Four answers will beat it. Yeah, name an evil you've never tried but you have considered trying. Murder. Murder! <laughs> no? Why? I mean, you get so angry, you say, I want to kill him. That's not is a dumb it, answer. Isn't that evil? Are you going to uh, play a pair? Uh, pass. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, no, we don't have time to wait a minute. Just give oh, me an answer. You're going to play or pass yeah. here. Well, I'm pass. Uh, fine. We'll pass. Okay, we'll pass. Move we'll along. Right. Right. An evil you've never tried, but you have considered trying. Cocaine. Cocaine. Well done. One from the heart. Okay. Evil that I rape in women. <laughs> Can I try again? I think you've offended enough people with that answer. Uh, rape. Oh, uh, gee, that was a beautiful answer. You may not have uh, wanted to abdicate, but at home, at this moment, they're burning your throne. Oh. An evil you've never tried, but have considered. Trying. How do I put this politely? Um, well, put it this way. A bordello? Uh, to visit. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Lady of the Krellman. Visit a lady of the evening. <laughs> no. There was nothing, nothing bad in that at all. Uh, I do it. I, I mean, I don't do that all the time. I... I have one. I have considered this so many times. What is it, my love? I have... I used to sit in Las Vegas and try to think of how I could rob the casino. Okay, no, sure. Yeah, that's a great idea. I mean, you have to. <laughs> that's a good idea, because there's all that money there, and you think, wouldn't it be great? Perfect, perfect heist. Out. If it's there, okay. If not, there's dry. <laughs> perfect robbery. Yeah, darling, great. Gambling. Gambling. Not there. Fifty-four dollars, June. Come along. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, what do you say? Cheat on your spouse. Okay, if that's there, you get the money, and if not, Connie's in the game with fifty-four dollars. Adultery. Oh, I can't even consider something that bad. We'll be back uh, right after this. All the money right here. 127, nothing. Anthony! <laughs> 100 people survey. Top seven answers on the board. Here's the question. When you find a good physician, you stick with him or her. Name someone else you keep going to when you find a good one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> a, a veterinarian. Vet. Oh. No, Anthony. Dentist. Dentist. Oh. Well done. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. It's all right. Oh, now we can. Let's try it. We can get an answer here that will just skim right over America and make no ripples whatsoever. Okay. When you find a good doctor, you stick with him or her. Name someone else you keep going to when you find a good one. A massage, a masseur. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Masseur! <laughs> no! Oh, okay. Grant, what is the person you keep going? A mechanic. Yeah, that's okay. good. Good mechanic. You got it, sir. Who do you keep going to if you find a good one? A hairdresser. Of course you'd know that, wouldn't you? <laughs> hairdresser! I knew you were there. That was a... A, a, uh, a tailor. A tailor. Another good one. Got a good tailor. <laughs> no. Elizabeth? I can't believe that. Boy. Okay. Dry cleaner. Dry cleaner. Okay. That's there all right. If not third strike, dry cleaner. $77 up there. Four answers unrevealed. Go for it, Jim. Thank you. This is a take. Let's move it along. Now yes. give me an answer. What do you say? I, you, yes. Lawyer. Lawyer. 
Lawyers there, you get it all. Big lead. If not, Connie and boys are in the game with the money. Lawyer! I keep going to my seven. Going. <laughs> Argument. <laughs> Rabbi Wise, 204 to nothing. Let's go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We're both short. Yes. <laughs> Get me an apple box. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something about Ronald Reagan that people make jokes about. Yep. Used to be an actor. That he used to be an actor. We are going to play, Richard. We're going to play. Don't well done. Play. <laughs> Something about Ronald Reagan people make jokes about. His hair. Uh huh. Hair. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, by the way. Uh, dye his hair. That's he the doesn't? next color after oh. white. <laughs> Something oh, that's uh, funny. Well, thank you. All right, <laughs> people make jokes about his it. age. His age. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Three seconds now. Give me an answer. His horseback riding. Okay. Yeah. What? I don't think side saddle makes you a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> horseback riding? <laughs> no. Oh. And Angela. His China. Is it his oh, or is yes. it his wife? Oh, oh, the China, China the dancer China. guy. Yeah, their China. China. Yeah. All right. Their China. <laughs> no. Okay. Bob. His laugh. Ha 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 ha. ha. All right. <laughs> if it's there, all right. And if not, third strike, and you'll get a chance to steal. His laugh? <laughs> no. Come on down here. You've got to give me a correct answer, because if not, they will have shut you out. Those are the champs. No, you, you don't have to whisper. Oh, oh, don't, okay. Truly, any ideas at all? Yellow men. Okay. What do you say? Mannerisms. His speeches. His wife, I'd say. Wow. I need, uh, truly, I need an answer now. What is it? He says uh, they're all looking at me just like crazy give, people. Darling, you've got to give okay. me an answer, truly. Something? I think it's his speech mannerisms. His speeches is, you know, ho, 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 you know. Well, we had his laugh over there, Oh well. Right? It, it, uh, Did we not? All right. Something about Ronald Reagan people made jokes about. Just give me an answer. All right, right. he says uh, Nancy. Uh, Nancy, all right, my so love. I... If Nancy's there, you get the 128. If not, you're the champ. Nancy! <laughs> Loves those names. jelly beans. <laughs> All right, we got no money up there. You got to stay though and root, because they're playing for a lot of money. Root them on. Good luck. Yeah. All right, two Good people luck, who'll play it. Come on, let's go. Who's playing? Carter and June are going for the money right after we watch this. Want a big win here, okay? Mm -hmm. Me do. Fifteen seconds, please. Oh, that's great. Name a kind of medicine people keep on the night table. Cough syrup. Besides poker, a card game. Uh, gin. An article of clothing cowboys wear. Cowboy hat. A coin the parking meters take. Quarter. A color of shoe polish. Black. Very good. Oh! Of medicine people keep on the night side table. Cop medicine. Survey. All right. Guys, go for a card game. Gin. Survey set. All right. Article of clothing cowboys wear. Ten gallon height. Survey. Go. Farm. Parking meter take quarter. You know what? Uh, Beverly Hills, they take a uh, cougar in. <laughs> Survey. Oh. Color of shoe polish, noir, black, a service side. We're looking for June. Here she comes. 
You are 54 points away from another $5,000. Holy moly. Well, be that as it may, please remind everyone the answer that Mar gave us in 20 seconds on the clock. You know, we wish you luck. Name a kind of medicine people keep on the night table. Oh, uh, aspirin. Besides poker, a card game. A pinochle. An article of clothing cowboys wear. Chaps. A coin that parking meters take. Dime. A color of shoe polish. Black. Try again. White. Turn around. Town <laughs> of medicine people keep on the night table. You said aspirin. Number one. Survey said. 38. Doug <laughs> Fosha, card game. Jim was number one. You said pinochle. 16 points for the money. Survey said. Seven. Article of clothing, cowboys wear. Hat was number one. You said, shots. Nine points, 5,000. Survey said. You've got Come on. Come on. We will return. Won five thousand dollars for uh, Project Winfrey. That was five thousand dollars they didn't have before you gave it up. So far, playing for the International uh, Hearing Dogs Inc., ten thousand four hundred and sixty-six dollars. I just want to tell you, a dime was the number one answer for parking meter, and black was the shoe polish. And tomorrow. Batman versus Gilligan's Island. We'll see you here on the field. Yeah. Bye bye. This is G. So you want to play some rock and roll? The first thing you need is a new hairdo and get a whole new style. Develop bad habits. Oh, and don't forget the music lessons. Of course, you could just tune in and play Rock and Roll Jeopardy on Game Show Network. This game rocks. Weekends at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific.